This video is sponsored by Pouch. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel or welcome for the first time. In fact, if you're one of my 75% of regular viewers that are not subscribed to the channel or you're new, please do go ahead and hit the subscribe button now. We're aiming to hit 100,000 subscribers this year and it's a perfectly obtainable target. So it's free to do. Click that big red button below and subscribe to It's Joel. Now today we're kicking off a new series which has everything to do with my Mercedes CLK 320 which I'm conveniently sat in now. Now as you know this has been sawned off the road, not insured, not taxed and I haven't been driving this car really because I have three others which I'm able to use all the time. My Range Rover is my noble steed, I use that every day and it's extremely practical and I love to drive it. So. In short, there's pretty much no use and there has been no use for this car. And therefore, I've been wondering what to do with it. Should I spend some money on it and get it back on the road? I spent a little bit of money on it changing the grill at the front and I was looking for some new wheels, which I haven't yet found. However, I came up with an interesting concept. Now, ever since I was a child, I remember hearing stories about crazy people trading paper clips for a house and starting off with something worth pretty much nothing and ending up with something worth quite a lot or at least something that's more meaningful and useful and so you can see where this is going and probably the title of the video gives you a little bit of a hint too with this mercedes clk 320 i want to trade it up i want to start here with this thousand pound car that i bought on holiday to rescue me and my girlfriend to get us home and i want to trade it up with you guys my audience for other cars and to see what we eventually end up with so with this, I want to set some ground rules, but I do think essentially as we go along with this series, if it works and we get the ball rolling, the rules might change a little bit as we go. However, the basic rule is that I can't spend any money. It's trades only. So what I'm looking for as the first trade is another car, something that I can straight swap with this, hopefully for one of you guys, and then I can do things to the car that maybe improve it slightly for free. So whether it's washing the car by myself or calling up my friends at RBM Hampshire if it's a BMW and asking them and pleading them for a free oil service, anything like that that doesn't cost me money to try and improve each car as I go to make it more attractive as a swap or a proposition to the you guys watching or to anyone else that might want to trade. So in short, what I'm offering to you guys is this Mercedes CLK 320 for another car. I suppose it doesn't really matter the value of the car, the higher the better of course, but I've got to try and pick something and get something that is going to be appealing to my audience. So I might end up with something that's worth less on paper, but is a better proposition to you guys in terms of appeal. So this is a series designed then to see what I can end up with by just straight swapping with you guys, by help from friends, by doing some work on the car myself, and just from the kindness of my viewers. And another thing I love doing, apart from spending no money at all, is saving money, which brings me on very nicely to today's sponsor, which is Pouch. So Pouch is a free desktop browser extension that automatically finds and applies the best discount codes when you're shopping online. For example, I was shopping on Euro Car Parts the other day for some oil, and when I got to the checkout, Pouch automatically popped up and found me the wishlist 99 code and applied it, saving me over 30 quid. Pouch works on over 3,000 UK sites, for example, Halfords, Black Circles Tires, and Euro Car Parts. And what's more, they've just launched Pouch Points, so even if there are no live codes available at the time that you're shopping online, you can still actually earn points from participating retailers, which can be redeemed for gift cards. Pouch only takes a couple of clicks to install and make sure you pin it to your browser. It really is thanks to amazing sponsors like Pouch that I'm able to create this content on YouTube and have it as my job. So install Pouch for free right now by clicking the link at the top of this video's description and you can start saving money for literally nothing. So then let's get back to the Mercedes CLK 320 and I wanna give you guys a quick overview and recap of the car because one, some of you might not have seen it, but two, it doesn't get talked about all that often. So it's a CLK 320, as I mentioned, from 1999. It's a beautiful 3.2 litre V6 engine. And I can say that because we did drive this all the way back from Wales and I was using it for about a month thereafter. It's super, super smooth. It has, a, I'll tell you what, it has a, a cool gearbox. I love the, um, 
the actual stick selector that you have here. It's really nice, but it has a really interesting foot brake, which Mercedes of these era all had, um, and it's quite fun and quirky to use. But yeah, 3.2 V6 lump up ahead, super smooth, super reliable. Even when I don't use it, it seems to start. In fact, I'll start it again in a minute, but I would imagine there'll be no problems at all. It's in a gorgeous sort of Cabernet red, I can't remember the exact name, with this sort of off-white cream interior. Of course, it's a four-seater. In fact, is it a five-seater? Hmm, no. Four-seater only and convertible, which the roof works perfectly. Even the sort of headlining is in gorgeous condition, actually. And it is, I mean, obviously it had a thousand pound detail at I Valet last year, where the interior really, um, came up so so nicely and the exterior came out really nicely but there's just a few blemishes and stuff like a scrape on the bumper and some scratches along one of the big side panels on a long run it will return you around 27 to 28 miles per gallon so not exactly frugal but not too bad either with regards to insurance and road tax well it's in a lower road tax bracket because of the age of the car i think it's around 300 pounds for the year here in the uk and insurance on this car only cost me 600 pounds for the year before i cancelled it and being 24 at the time living in london or at least having the car registered to london um, it's pretty seems pretty pretty good on insurance this one's had an aftermarket head unit installed too so you can connect your phone and it has bluetooth connectivity so you can sort of do all of that stuff hands-free as you can in modern cars and one of my favorite things that i think probably most of these had is the cruise control something i can't really live without these days and actually my porsche doesn't have it and i think it's something if i keep the car that i'm going to retrofit because when you're used to cruise control and then you don't have it all of a sudden it's really really difficult to drive at a constant speed so luckily this has cruise control it's also pretty good on storage too you've got very generous size uh, bins on either side a little cubby here which would be perfect for your phone and some sort of keys maybe valuable stuff that closes and opens like that got another thing here which is where the cup holder i think once was but i managed to break it although i do still sort of have it um, but otherwise it's quite a deep cubby there that you could fit a bottle of water in because there are no cup holders other than the sort of attached one that was in here but you can put a big bottle of water in there some storage under the head unit and another little thing here where the ashtray is and the cigarette input in terms of known issues with the car then in terms of uh, warning lights there's nothing apart from a fog light warning i think that comes up i think potentially the reverse lights aren't working either so that will probably need looking at in terms of getting through an mot can't remember when the MOT on this car is actually. I'm just going to look it up. Okay, the MOT did expire in December. So this will need an MOT to get it on the road. And technically, I can't do that because that would be spending money. So the light issue, I guess, is the only thing that it will need to get through an MOT. However, I'm not sure about the brakes. I can only sort of judge from when I've driven it. The brakes aren't that bitey. They're not that great. They will stop you, but I'm not sure if that's something that would need replacing too. Along with the tyres, um, I don't know if all of them need replacing, but the front left does go flat. So if I was keeping the car, I'd probably replace all four. So it's going to need an MOT. It's potentially going to need brakes looking at, excuse me, and it's uh, probably going to need tyres. Uh, other than that, probably do an alignment once the tyres are done and you're pretty much good to go. I mean, it is super smooth and runs super well apart from those things I mentioned before. And so if you do want to trade this car, you could end up with something pretty nice for, well, whatever you trade it with. It will probably need a few hundred quid, maybe up to a thousand pounds spent on it. But once you've got that, you've got yourself a lovely period CLK, which um, I really, I, I do like it actually. I really do like this car, but I think this is the most exciting and fun thing that we can do with it on the channel and i know from seeing your comments there's so many of you that have offered to buy this even in the condition that it's in and so if we could do a trade of some kind that would be great now depending on the interest that i gauge from this video um, if this completely tanks and everyone comments saying i'm an idiot and it's a terrible idea who would want to trade their car for this then we'll have to think but if there's a lot of interest and a lot of you offer me cars or you know want to trade or look at this car then potentially we could organize some sort of meetup where we find a big car park or a big pub or something that we i don't know rent or organize a little meetup where you bring your trade proposition cars down i will probably put an mot on this and get it on the road drive it over and then we can sort of do a live trade but it depends really on how much you guys uh want to have this car i mean 
in an ideal world, this one could just be straight swapped because I wouldn't then have to put an MOT on it, which is technically breaking the rules. But as I've said, I think this could be really fun and this could be a really nice car and is a really nice car um, that one of you could end up with for a swap. So the question is then, can I start with this thousand pound Mercedes and end up with something worth a hundred thousand pounds? I honestly don't think it's possible, but it has been done before, maybe not with cars, but certainly with other things. And this could be quite remarkable if we can even get to a tenth of that target, 10,000 pounds and then you know show that this car community is incredible and that actually value isn't always what you're considering it's more the passion and the love for that type of car and i know that this car is quite special to lots of people because it is of certain era that has a great following and although it needs some work it needs some tlc to someone this might be way more exciting to them even with the stuff that it needs than say their old bmw 3 series estate which could be good for me so that's the video that's really all i'm going to talk about in today in this introductory episode i am really excited about it so if you can leave a thumbs up on this video if you think it's a good idea that would be a really helpful and useful indication for me to know that i've uh, got a good idea here do comment below your thoughts tell me if you think i'm an idiot but please do be nice uh, but also tell me in the comments what you might want to trade it with if you have something and I guess that's the best way for you to go to, to reach me. And in the next video, maybe we'll do a trade or maybe we'll look at some of the trades and evaluate where to go from there. So as you can see, there's all sort of a number of things that could happen here. It's all very much up in the air, but that makes it exciting for me because I really don't know where this is gonna go, if anywhere, but fingers crossed, there's one of you out there that has a great idea for a trade with this Mercedes. So do contact me via YouTube comments initially. And then if we have anything really serious to talk about, we can probably move over to emails, uh, at which I'm on hello at itsjoel.co.uk. So make sure before you go to download the free desktop browser extension, which is Pouch, that have kindly sponsored this video by clicking the link at the top of the description. It's a fantastic product actually that I didn't know about before, and I'm so, so glad that I now do. Thank you all so much for watching. Can't wait to hear your thoughts on this one. I'm a little bit nervous that you're gonna think I'm a complete idiot, which maybe I am, but I'm happy with that. And I will see you all very, very soon.